As the governor of Minnesota, I'm proud to introduce this story. In many ways, it is an incredible story of a Minnesota grassroots effort to promote permanent peace in the whole world. The people involved differ in many ways as to religion, politics, race, and color. However, the common denominator is that we belong to the same human family. We're dedicated to the proposition that if the human family on spaceship Earth is to survive, the world problems of war, pollution, and starvation must be outlawed. This is our quest. I sincerely believe this story needs to be told throughout our state, throughout the nation, and yes, the world. Who knows, the concept of world citizenship could be the spark that will ignite the flame of permanent peace under just law. Perhaps it would be very appropriate at this point to talk to the prime mover of this world citizenship movement in our area, a Minneapolis businessman by the name of Lynn Elling. Lynn, how did this all get started? Well, Bill, in our travels uh, to Japan in 1963 and again to Norway in 1967, we had the opportunity to meet Thor Hardall of Kantiki fame and also Norman Cousins, who told us about this concept of world citizenship. In fact, they urged us to go home and see what we could do about developing uh, a declaration of world citizenship at the local level. Uh, in order to eliminate war and to eliminate power politics and effectively work on the world problems of pollution and starvation and overpopulation, we have to somehow convince enough people in our hometown, uh, nationally and internationally, to think and act as world citizens. In 1968, Stan Platt, another businessman, and I approached Arthur Naftalin and convinced him and the other city and county officials to adopt uh, the Minneapolis Declaration of World Citizenship. Mayor William Powell of Stillwater, representing the mayors of Minnesota. There are many things we can do to promote world peace and understanding. At the personal level, we must learn to appreciate and understand our neighbors. As world citizens, we must work toward the solution of the problems that face us today, not only at the state and local levels, but also at a level which is sometimes overlooked. And now, more recently, with your strong support, Governor Anderson, uh, and men like Stanley Holmquist and uh, other leaders in Minnesota, we were able to get the Minnesota Declaration of World Citizenship, the very first in the entire country. Senator Stanley Holmquist, Minnesota Senate Majority Leader, also participated in the signing of the World Citizenship Declaration. I have lived through World War I and also World War II, the Korean War and now the Vietnam War, plus many, many other hot and cold wars. I believe the time is now right to explode the colossal myth that our country can maintain peace in the world alone by simply carrying a huge stick or trying to stay ahead in the arms race. All of the nations are squandering a total of some 250 billions of dollars each year of the world's treasury on war. We must outlaw war and power politics. Also, this seems to me to be the only way to link the problems of world pollution and hunger. As one deeply interested in maintaining an excellent public school system, I am very pleased to learn that many of our top Minnesota educators are leading the way to develop a curriculum prototype or blueprint on the subject of world citizenship. Actress Nancy Nelson discussed world citizenship with Josie Johnson, member of the University of Minnesota Board of Regents. I hope that they will always have the sense of dedication to what is right and just for all people. We teach children that uh, it's not nice to kill, thou shall not, but in the meantime we give them a gun or we give them a toy or we uh, let them um, see all of the horrors on TV. I agree. We have a tremendous role and a lot of things to do to undo what's been done. I hope they will not allow the outside world to destroy this very basic, gutsy feeling that they have for people, for human beings, and uh, exercise this in very positive, constructive ways. I hope they always feel the need 
to be strongly identified with of all uh, oppressed people of the world and will exercise this in a positive way, not just feel it, but do something about it. Thank you for a beautiful definition of rural citizenship. Thank Josie you. Josie Johnson. I'm an astronaut that has been fortunate enough to look at this world from outer space. And when you see this world as a small, colorful sphere silhouetted against the black vastness of space, you realize that we are all citizens of the world. Congressman Bill Frenzel of Minnesota's 3rd Congressional District. I've just signed the Minnesota Declaration of World Citizenship, and I'm proud to do so. I commend the people who have started and progressed this project, and I recommend the project to all people everywhere. Governor, you've endorsed this project right from the very beginning. How do you feel now that it has had some wide acceptance, and where do we go from here? Bill, I'm very proud that Minnesota is the first state to have such a declaration of world citizenship. I would hope that it proved to be a catalyst or vehicle that could be used throughout the country to help us better promote world peace. I sincerely hope that you will join our quest for permanent peace by taking the first step of declaring yourself a citizen of the world. Then encourage your friends and your neighbors and your relatives to do the same. Last night Happily, it is beginning. There are more and more of us telling the world that we know we're all responsible for whatever happens. That we know that we are all world citizens. I dream the world had all of me to put an end to war. Strange and strange. 